Hi guys, this is your cat Mingus back with updates about what's happening in CNT. Yoku's historical romance series, The Story of Hua Zhi, has been shooting for a couple months now. Pairs up Hu Yitian and Lighter and Princess star Zhang Jingyi for the first time. Hu Yitian's only historical was Handsome Siblings with Chen Zheyuan in 2020. He was the gentlemanly Hua Uche before, and he's the Ling Wang prince now, though his hair leaves a lot to be desired. Meanwhile, 24-year-old actress Zhang Jingyi stars in her first historical. The story of Hua Zhi that's about Mulan in the business world has its heroine also having the surname Hua like Mulan. Based on a novel by Kong Liu, Hua Zhi thought that she could lead a stable life as the prim and proper daughter of a prominent family. However, the Hua family is pushed to the brink of collapse and she has to step up. In an era where women don't easily show their faces, going out to do business and riding a horse is the norm for her. Her notorious reputation as someone not to be messed with spreads throughout the capital. She is prepared to die alone, but she never thought that someone clad in armor would ask for her hand in marriage. It also stars Caesar Wu Xizhe as the young master of the Shen family, Lu Yuxiao, and teen actor Bian Cheng, who first drew attention when he was paired with Ren Min in 2020's Serenade of Peaceful Joy. Hong Kong actress Mayoli Wu joins the cast along with 75-year-old veteran actor Eddie Ko. Legend of Anla star Del Raba's recent airport appearance has sparked some controversy. A sea of people surrounded her as the 31-year-old actress was reportedly there to catch her flight from Beijing to Xi'an. Del Raba, casually dressed in a backless top, long pants, and a cap, was waving to her fans and making her way through them when a hand, presumably a female fans, suddenly reached out and tapped her bare back. Footage of it quickly spread, generating backlash from the public since the tap was unsolicited and inappropriate. Someone from Del Raba's side addressed netizens' concerns, saying that security measures have been upgraded and that they intend to use the VIP route next time. She also asked for people not to blame the girl excessively. Prior to this, Del Raba actually just wrapped her newest drama, opposite Under the Skin actor Jin Shijia, after three months of filming. Sword and Rose follows them as cops fighting child abduction and human trafficking in China. Wu Jinyan is set to make her historical drama comeback in the currently filming Mo Yu Yunjian. The 32-year-old actress, who rose to fame in the mega-hit Story of Yanxi Palace in 2018, has not been doing dramas in the past two years. Meanwhile, 28-year-old Bai Lu, who comes from the same agency, has kept busy with different projects. She is also the star of this year's hit drama, Till the End of the Moon. In a recent live stream, their boss Yu Zheng was asked if he's being too biased to promote Bai Lu more than Wu Jinyan. The writer-producer responds by saying, Yu Zheng said that once his artist becomes popular, he sets his sights on newcomers. At the time, he put all his efforts on Bai Lu. However, he shared that Jin Yan has kept busy with plays, studying her craft, and that she also drew buzz in Sisters Who Make Waves Season 3. In an industry chock full of beautiful faces, Chinese-Canadian actress Song Yiren reveals she sometimes feels she doesn't measure up next to her peers. The actress, who turned 30 this year, has always been known for her youthful looks. She was recently a guest on Wonderland Season 3 at the invitation of her good friend co-star Dylan Wang, who is also a regular. It was revealed on the show that Dylan considers Song Yiren to be his best friend in the industry. They worked together on the show Evernight 2 a few years before his iconic role in Love Between Fairy and Devil. Whilst talking about her Wonderland experience, Song Yiren said she felt very touched when Song Tan Tan gave her a big hug and told her you're beautiful when they had just met. It 
turns out, as she admitted quite candidly, that she doesn't consider herself attractive when compared against other actresses and that she has anxiety in this regard. Tang Lun was suddenly cancelled after being found guilty of tax evasion and being forced to pay 106 million yuan. Tang Lun trended again over a lawsuit versus Chinese brand Yunmi, citing service contract disputes. Now that the courts have ruled in their favor, Tang Lun and a company called Shanghai Panhai are now mandated to pay 1.74 million yuan in damages. Not long after, the actor was once again on the hot search over reports that he and Shanghai Panhai have been ordered to pay an additional 98,000 yuan. Some fans are speaking up for the actor, saying it's unfair to keep using him for buzz and that the additional payment appears to be from the same case. Many are left wondering what's going to happen to him and whether a comeback is even still possible. Last but not the least, this is for fans of the Disney Plus series American Born Chinese. Daniel Wu and Jimmy Liu played the legendary Monkey King and his rebellious son. The two shared snaps of their recent meetup in Taipei, where son Jimmy commented, Love you, Dad. Netizens also noticed Janet Xie is photobombing them in the back. Can we hope for a second season?